measured performance cares centrifugal pump this picture show actual performance data for a commercial centrifugal pump Part A is part. This diagram is for a basic casing size with three different impeller diameter. Basic casing with three different impeller diameter. The head curve HQ are shown by the horsepower and efficiency curve had to be inferred from the contour plot. Maximum discharge are not shown being for outside the normal operating range near the BEP. Everything is blooded raw, of course. Beat. horsepower, gallons per minute and since it is to be used directly by designers. Uh, figure B is the same pump designed with a 20% larger casing 20% larger casing than previous a lower speed and three larger impair diameter. Lower speed, larger impair. diameter the larger pump uh, comparing two pumps may be a little confusing the larger pump produce exactly the same discharge but only half the horsepower and half the head This is the head of the pump, these lines. This will be readily understood from the scaling or similarity law are about for to formulate. A point of an overlooked is the raw curves like this picture are strictly applicable to a fluid of a certain density and viscosity in this case water if the pump were used to deliver say mercury 
The break horse cover would be about 30 times higher while the QH and eta would be about the same. So if in the case a fluid applicable to a fluid with certain density and viscosity water and to use mercury for example the brake house power EHP should be e thirty time greater but the q eta and efficiency and h is same for Mercury. But in that case, H should be interpreted as speed of Mercury. H speed of Mercury. Not with our water, if the pump were used for, uh, for example, oil, oil data will change due to the larger change in viscosity. For change in viscosity. For example, oil. Q, H, Eta, and P will be changed. Again, this should be clear with the similarity rules. The next section is net positive suction head imports. <laughs> 